Hello, all. Shoestring here. I'm about to conduct a test of my VaultWorks 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And what I'm going to do is test it with a single cup coffee maker, which is right here. It runs about 1500 watts. This is supposed to do 2000. Also, the manual recommends if I'm going to use the whole 2000, then I should have 200 amp hour battery. What I did instead is connected to 100 amp hour batteries, as you can see. This one is a gel from Renergy. The other one is a universal AGM battery. I know what some of you are thinking. You should always use like type batteries. That is correct but I don't have two of this type. So I just put it together, see if it'll work. All right, so it does come out to 200 amp hours. We have 12.8 volts and 121 output. So let's find out what happens. Take the coffee, put it in. Go ahead and turn this on. Make sure it comes on. Light comes on. It's making noise. It must be working. Yes, there is water in it. Check all these little things out. And of course, as everyone knows, you cannot go through the apocalypse. Any type of zombie emergencies without coffee. So here we go to see if this is going to work. Close that. I'm sure there's some official name for it, but I don't know what it is. And for this one regular cup of coffee, it will be the middle button. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, let's find out if it's going to work or not. It says it's dropped to 11.1 .1 volts. but it is still operating. 11.1, 11.2 volts. Okay, now that's just because the motor's coming on and it wants to run it. It really isn't that low a voltage in the batteries. Batteries are, prob are still 12.8 or 12.9, but remember, when you turn on something like a motor, or something like a coffee maker, the initial pull will drop your voltage. Nothing to be concerned about as long as it stays high enough to make your device work. And that's what we're working on right now. All right, 12.4, because it is finished, now back to 12.5, because it is finished heating up the water. That took the most amount of power is heating up the water. Now it's pouring it in, which doesn't take as much energy. 11.2, so the motor must have kicked back in. Was it 12.6 just a moment ago? But we'll give it a moment. It's about done. 12.6. 12.6. So yes, we have coffee. <gasps> and it ran it just fine. Turn the power off. So this is an acceptable device to work for the apocalypse. Oh, another interesting note I found reading the manual on this. It says when not in use, turn it off. So the inverter does not like to be turned on all the time. So if you have a solar system that you need to run constantly, I would not recommend this inverter for that because it's not made, the manual says, to run all the time. Okay, that was the test for this one. And if you have any questions, of course, want to see any other test, drop it down in the comments. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it. And shoestring 